This is a test of the Sony CX900 in low light. I'll compare it to Canon's HFG30 and Panasonic's X920, and so as to avoid any distraction from colour differences, I've desaturated all the images to black and white so we can concentrate on exposure only. So I start with the CX900 on a fully wide zoomed lens so as to enable us to open the iris fully, which is to f2.8. Yes, that's all it does. Maximum iris, f2.8. And this is what the corner of my studio looks like at f2.8, with just a smidgen of daylight coming through the blinds from the window. Now compare that to the Canon HFG30, also zoomed fully wide, notice how much wider it is by the way, and at f2.8. It is indeed a bit darker, so points to the Sony here. But compare that with the Panasonic X920 under the same settings. Pitch black. The Panasonic loses, it seems. But it's not that simple. You see, the Sony here at f2.8 is at its widest, brightest iris. If we want to make this picture any brighter, we'll have to add gain. That's electronic amplification, which can introduce noise to the picture. But the Canon can open its lens up more. Here I am, taking the lens from f2.8 to f1.8. And now I reckon the Canon's only just under the Sony's levels. And let's go back to the poor old Panasonic. Its iris will actually go below f1.7, although it only describes this setting as fully open. It's still not as good as the Canon and the Sony, but it's not as bad as first appeared. You just have to open it up. Right, now all three camcorders have fully open irises, so let's start adding in some gain. Here's 3 dB, now 6, here's 9, taking it up to 12, then 15. Now the Panasonic tops out at 18 dB of gain, and look how rough and grainy the picture looks. But the Sony and Canon can go even further, so here's 21, and 24, and the Sony's on 27 dB gain here, but above 24 the Canon simply labels it as max, so it's unclear exactly how much this is. But you can actually go further on the Sony CX900, all the way up to 33 dB of gain, which is astronomical and you'd hope never to use, but considering how much you're adding, the image is relatively noise-free, at least compared to the Panasonic at a substantially less 18 dB, for example. So my conclusion then is that the Sony does indeed benefit from its large sensor and has a relatively clean gain structure compared to other small consumer camcorders. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If it was useful, please do click that thumbs up button and maybe subscribe to the channel for more videos about camcorders and video making for the web. Bye-bye.